Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyKillerScreen.com. Today's episode of Android Theming 101 is all about launches. What is a launcher? What are the different types? What are the pros and cons of each of these launches? As well as which is the best launcher suited for you will all be covered in this episode. So let us begin. So basically, launches can be called the skin of your Android phone, whereas your operating system will be the heart or the insides of it, as well as the apps and wallpaper being the clothes, your launcher defines how your operating system and apps and widgets communicate with each other. Whether it be crazy transitions like the Go Launcher EX or the very customizable Launcher Pro, the simple fluid transitioning of Apex or Nova Launcher, or the extremely, extremely customizable Launcher SS Launcher, or even if it's just your simple launcher that came with your phone. All launches provide different functionality as well as their good and bad sides. I'm going to start off with your standard stock launcher and proceed all the way to SS Launcher. Let us begin. Okay, starting from our very standard TouchWiz as seen in any, in any standard Samsung phone, the new TouchWiz is quite nice. It does all the basic things such as easily adding widgets by just dragging them onto the home screen. So it satisfies the large market of general users. The only bad thing about it is that you can't really modify a lot of things. Like say if you wanted to add in two apps, you couldn't, you couldn't overlap them. That's, that's just how it is. Yeah, you either have it or you don't. You, you can't really modify a lot. There's not even settings such as with Apex or Nova. So I'd say the good, the good part about it is that it's, it's very smooth and fast going between screens. And there's not much to set up if you're very happy with just a simple widget and an icon here and there, it does the job quite well. The negatives is that it's not as customizable as some of as some of the third-party launches that we see on the market today. Next we have Go Launcher EX. Now this is hugely popular on the Play Store and it's easy to see why. It's very, very easy on the eye. Look, I mean just look at this transition that I just added. I'm just I could just do this for hours. So on the plus side is that it looks very nice and you can do a lot with it by installing other themes that go with it, as well as other notifications such as your weather and notifications bar, stuff like that. However, on the bad side, this will start eating up your battery. If you keep on doing this every 10 minutes as well as I don't really enjoy installing themes on this you end up installing so many different themes for so many different widgets that your memory as well as your your battery just start to disappear so I'd recommend this launch launcher if you want your phone to look very nice without having to do very much to it our next launcher we have is launcher pro as you can see it's a lot more stock than go launcher EX and you can still do a lot of things with it. You can add widgets, Launcher Pro widgets, which are quite nice, as well as folders, etc. It just comes with nice transitions for anything that you need. What I do like about it is that it's a lot more fluid and less battery hogging than Go Launcher. But in the end, I still prefer the next two coming up. Next, we will be showing Apex Launcher and Nova Launcher. Now, these two are my all time personal best launchers. As you can see, they're extremely fast and fluid. Look at that. And they are extremely customizable. We can have folders at the top here that you can add. Adding widgets is a breeze. They can overlap. There are so many things you can do on these two launches. Nova Launcher is pretty much the same as Apex and there's always a battle between the two. So it pretty much comes down to personal preference. Lastly, we have SS Launcher. And I'd only recommend this to intermediate to advanced users that know what they're doing with their phone. As you can see, it's very different. There's no app draw. It's just basically, here's your app draw that you slide across. There we have our hot applications. There's your contacts. Here's your bookmarks. So it is a bit confusing to get used to if you're coming from a stock launcher or, you, or even Apex launcher. But once you get used to it, it is extremely customizable. Simply holding down something, you can fine tune a widget, you can resize it. It doesn't even come with grid. So you can pretty much put an icon wherever you want on the screen. Now all these launchers come with a free as well as a paid version, except for Go Launcher where you have to buy your, your themes if they're not free. I would suggest always going for the free version first. If you like it, then maybe end up buying the full app. This is because it comes with a few handy extra features that once you have them, you simply can't live without. Now for a lot of these tutorials, I'm gonna be using Apex Launcher just because it's more user friendly and, and a lot of people are using this right at the moment. Okay, I hope you understand a little bit more about how launches work now. 
in our next episode of Android Theming 101, I'll be bringing you how to import UCCW widgets, what is a UCCW widget, and where it can be used. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel so that you'll be able to know first when a tutorial is released. Thank you very much, guys.